today we're gonna cut out a player. First thing I always do is I take the crop tool, which is this icon, fifth down on the left. Shortcut is C on your keyboard. I am just gonna crop the image to only include the subject that I want. So today we're gonna cut out Xavier Payne of the Indianapolis Alley Cats. And you hit enter after that. The next thing you wanna do is hit W on your keyboard, or you can go to this icon, the quick selection tool is what we want. This button up at the top says select subject. That's gonna have Photoshop take its best guess of what you wanna select in the image. So see how it takes these marching ants and puts it all nice around Xavier Payne. You'll see the selection isn't perfect. So throughout this process, we'll kind of keep fine tuning the selection in these different steps. So first we wanna take this quick selection tool, which should still be selected, and click and drag to add back parts of the selection that Photoshop missed. So I'm clicking and dragging on Xavier Payne's cleat to include these areas. And if it includes too much, like over here, it took some grass in the selection, you can hold option. And I'm on a Mac, by the way, it's probably alt on a PC. Or you can go up here to the little minus sign icon under quick selection. And if you hold option and click and drag, that's gonna take away parts of the selection that you don't want included. So just going through either clicking and dragging or holding option and clicking and dragging to get as close as possible. So that looks pretty good. And it, again, it doesn't have to be perfect on this first try. We're gonna have a few steps of this. So go up to select and mask is the next step. And this takes you to this select and mask uh, panel here on the side. We're gonna keep opacity at 100, uh, viewing just the subject on white. You can change this depending on the background of the image you're using originally. It might be more helpful to view it on black or a, a different version of the image. We're gonna stick with white. So with radius, I always check smart radius. I always do at least a pixel or two. That's just gonna help Photoshop find the edges a little bit more and smooth out some of those spaces. You can also use smooth, which I, I generally bump up a little bit. Feather, I don't really touch. Contrast, I add a little bit of contrast just to make the edges a little sharper. And shift edge, I always bring shift edge down a decent amount. So what shift edge does, you can see this line on the side of Xavier Payne. The selections aren't always perfect, but if you take shift edge down or the opposite extreme, you can see how it's affecting your selection. So keep it down here. And the last thing you wanna do is output the selection to a layer mask. Always use masks. I'm the biggest proponent of masks. I used to not use them and I could have saved myself so much time if I always did, but it basically allows you to work non-destructively. So I'll show you what I mean. If you click okay, it's gonna spit out the selection. It created a mask next to this image. So if you look at the layer panel over here, you have the original image. You also have this mask linked to it, this black and white icon here. And basically whatever is black in that icon is the parts of the image that are not showing through. Whatever is white is showing through. And you can manipulate this further by painting with your brush tool. So if we hit B or click the brush icon over here, you can paint black or white on the mask. And if you paint white on the mask, that's gonna add back parts of the original image. So if you wanna like fine tune this disc shape a little bit more, uh, or if you switch to black, so you can go here, switch your foreground color to black. Shortcut for that is X to shift your foreground and background color. Foreground color is the active color that you're using. So for painting with black, maybe we wanna take away some of these, some of this uh, ground detail that's kind of between the cleats. You know, it's up to you how how much you wanna to fine tune the selection. But those are the basics of cutting out a player, uh, just a few steps and you can do it pretty quickly.